All right, guys. That music was way too good to interrupt. <laughs> so let's get started here. Whoa, CPAH just tanking. Tanking, which is good. To let it come back to the four line. So today, today you guys are in luck. Uh, I People think I short exclusively. I do not. <laughs> I go long and I squeeze the shit out of people too. And that's what, that's actually what I did for the past decade. I used to, I mean, I used to just mostly long a stock and then run it all the way up and then I short myself down. Uh, you gotta be versatile and go both sides. Uh, know when to go long, know when to short. Because like today, there'll be days like today where there's nothing to short. I woke up today, looked up my scanner, and there was actually nothing. Uh, continuation plays were nothing. AMRH and PED. There's just nothing this morning to short. And so, but everyone was trading that CPAH. Yeah. You know, uh, those chat room guys are good for something, dude. They fucking start this crap. And which is actually good. I mean, I don't, I don't really mind. The only thing is, I tried. If you get into my room, or if you talk to me, I mean, I, w I would not be using you guys to make money for myself. Um, although um, I may be starting something just to fucking combat all these furus that have been using people, because it's a. Uh, I mean, for every good, there needs to be a bad, right? <laughs> it would, life would be boring if there was just all Jesus and no devils. <laughs> I don't really don't know. I really don't know which side I am. I don't know if I'm the devil or the the angel, but um, I'm definitely not an angel. Um, okay. So getting to this CPA. So I woke up. I was like, shit, this thing is running like crazy. So what what I did? I looked at the float. Let me see what the float is. So when you, when you start trading alongside of these stocks, it's very difficult because you're chasing the shit that's up. You, you don't know what the fuck you're buying. You did no research because all of a sudden this thing is running like crazy. And this is where the chat room guys don't give a shit. If, if you're the guy that has 1,800 guys in your room, who gives a fuck about the fundamentals and all this crap? I just see a low, low, low float that I can fucking get in and have 1,000 guys chase up. No brainer. How the fuck do you ever lose? So the fact that he loses, it means he sucks ass. Seriously, he sucks. Anybody can do this shit. But hey, you know, he looks like a cool guy that's a farmer, so people trust him, right? Uh, which, I mean, I have no problems with him, dude. I like him. I really like him. He's like, he does what he fucking does, and he don't make excuses for it. And if you want to fucking get in, you do get in, right? So that, that's fucking great. Uh, so I have really no problem against him. So if he's, if he's listening to this shit, hey man, more power to you, brother. You do what you want to do because these guys are stupid. They give you money and they want to they, they do this. You know, it's not their fucking, it's not your fault, man. Um, you're not here killing anybody. You're not fucking forcing anybody to do anything you don't want to. And that's pretty much trading, right? You do what the fuck you want to do. You want to wake up and make easy money or think you make easy money, that's on you. But anyways, so I'm going to teach you the strategy. This is, so this is the first bounce. I call it the first bounce. To me, this 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 works most of the time. You guys are lucky. I mean, I don't even want to tell you guys this shit, but so the first bounce is when a stock goes ballistic. In this case, what was it? <coughs> it closed at 274, <coughs> and it it opens at 312, and it runs up 100 percent, almost 100 percent. So along the way, it's running. You're like shit. It's got to bounce somewhere. Okay, so here's the first bounce, but it's like, fuck, it's way too quick. I don't, I don't, I, I don't trust this crap. So I, I need a bigger, a bigger dip. So I'm waiting, I'm stalking, okay? So my theory is this, okay? So when it's running up, so it ran up for like freaking half an hour. So I, during that half an hour, I, I went, I did my research. I found out the short, I mean, the shares float was 2.67 million. So right now it's trading at 11 million. So it's already like rotated its float. So that's, that's the first key component. Rotate this float. Shorts are stuck upside down. Everyone's fucking chasing. Everything's fucking good. So I'm like, dude, I want in. I'm not shorting this thing. Okay? Uh, people are shorting this. They're they're fucking crazy. It's called. Uh, um, they're they're fighting the trend, dude. I, I you know when we amateurs do that, I, I don't do that. I if I'm if I'm in heavy, I need I need to see rejection and all that. But today's today's 
topic is going long a stock. So I'm not gonna talk about shorting today. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing my research during this time to see if it's a candidate for my strategy. So I see low flow. I love this low flow shit too, man. It's low flow, people are stuck. So it's going to, it's going to have some huge reversal. It has to, all stocks do. If it keeps running up and it doesn't have a reversal, MTSL, dude, it will have the mother of all reversals at the end of the day and you're all dead, okay? So reversals are healthy. Reversals are healthy. In order for a stock to go up higher, it needs to clean people out, okay? And so that's where I start to stock and track a stock. So, so when it started running up, so when it was here, I'm like, oh, great, dude. I'm hoping, hoping it goes down. So I have to pick my lines, remember? It's all about lines. So I actually never went in on a four book. So I'm, I'm having in my head a $4 line. Because look at this little, little thing here, okay? I'm like, dude, because remember the first bounce is always fake, dude. First bounce, fake. Second bounce, I actually got in on the second bounce. Okay, I made 10 cents twice. That's just a test. So that was not my main entry. Because I'm like, dude, I, I really want it at four bucks. Four bucks is where I start to add more size. All these are not, so if it's not optimal as in terms of a good flush out, so, so it's like poker, dude. It's like, you have to learn how to bet. Having pocket jacks, you bet very differently than pocket aces, right? So it's a completely different strategy. So you, so you have to learn how much to size in too. I mean, the, the better the better pocket aces, I'm all in. But at the same time, if that my tournament's on the line and I, I'm like a couple of spots away from cashing in, I'm not gonna go all in, I'm stupid because that's, that's a coin flip. Some guy could get lucky on the flop, right? So, it, it, so basically, there's really no situation you should be all in unless you have the nuts. And in trading, you really don't have the nuts unless you have insider trading, which basically at the end of the day, no one has the nuts. Unless you are a chat room pumper and you have the nuts because you're the guy that started this thing, right? So yeah, so, so you can get in huge and then you can dump for 10 cents, which they do. So that, that's not our strategy. My strategy is like, dude, I, you, don't, you don't see me pumping shit. I'm gonna teach you something that you can fucking do on your own and learn, okay? So to got, I don't even know why I wanna tell you this shit, but okay, I tell, but so the thing is, the first bounce is, in my opinion, the most accurate, most highly probable strategy trade that you can make on the long side. Because the theory is this. It's, the theory is that people are, shorts are way too trapped. They're, they're, everyone's trying to get a good price to get in. But you don't wanna get in when everyone else is getting in. You wanna get in when everyone's panicking and selling and thinking, oh fuck, the bottom's dropping out. And so that's where the $4 line comes in. No one's fucking held that shit one time, two time, three time. So each time it hit there, I actually bought. And I can, I, for me, I can almost guarantee that the first bounce will work. The problem is the second and third bounce, I cannot guarantee you. Potty mouth. The fuck is this guy? Should I, bat, should I ban him? Who's this guy? Potty mouth. Lab, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna remember this guy. I'm gonna screenshot this guy and remember him. Lab, uh, sorry guys. I hate, I hate fucking assholes like that. It's like, just shut the fuck up. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Lab Grower. Anyways, okay. I, I noted him that, okay? I, I don't deal with that shit no more, man. Fucking people spend their time trying to help people and then you have smart ass. Get the fuck out. Um, so I might actually kick him out now, dude. How the fuck I kick him out? Uh, there, I kicked his ass out. Okay, now you guys will learn. Okay, so so once again, people are trapped, and so you just want that first good bounce, dude. And I just. You call it luck, you can call it whatever you want, but the thing is I started nippling way before four bucks. So my, my line was actually around 420, because I'm trying to scale in. So I'm going small size, like a thousand shares, thousand shares, and then when I'm down here, dude, this is when I can add more, more, more. And so the theory is when you're scaling, make sure your first ads are very small. And so, so it affords me to have a 20 cents buffer. If I'm at, so I'm adding, so the way I'm adding this is, 
10 cents. Every 10 cents I'm adding. So I have a lot of room, dude. Oh shit, it's coming down now. I actually have orders open. So let me see if it actually hits. Um, and so like I said, the first bounce, is, it's, it's, it's the one I want to get in. And that's the one I usually size the most on. The second one and third one, dude, is very scary. When it comes down to the third one, this one might actually drop all the way down and get fuck everybody. So you have to be careful. So in this case, it did go up all the way back up. But take a look at the chart, dude. Charts don't lie, man. It, it fucking hit the top, the same thing, and dropped down. I, ne I never made that far. I made it around, so I, I, I gave myself, I took the meat, I call it the meat. I took the easy move, which is like up to the 235 area. I mean, fuck, dude, I made 25 cents. That's good enough, right? I mean, if you get enough size, I mean, my whole point is, I could be the hero, hold this shit, go up, or I could be the guy that gets in, fucking trades for the first hour, make my fucking, make my money, no stress, and get the fuck out, okay? And so that, so to me, that's what I do, dude. And there's many different styles, dude. I never claim to be the biggest trader to make the most money, but the only thing I wanna do nowadays, when I was younger, I worked my ass off, and I, I did make a shitload, but nowadays, it's like, fuck, man, I, I, I don't need the stress. I just need to fucking work until a certain time and make my money so I can go fucking party and do what I need to do and get the, get the fuck out, right? And so I, I just choose now to have the highest probability, easiest stress-free trades. Okay, so it's all different styles. There's nothing wrong with whatever you do. For, for me, I choose in and out, I'm done, and fucking walk away. 15,000, 20,000 shares, and that's just fucking done, dude. So, with very little um, stress. So that's, that's what I call the first bounce, okay? So I'm waiting all day and stalking this thing for the very first bounce. So when I say the first bounce, not the first immediate bounce, it's the first true bounce. It's when they shook everybody out. Look, they shook you out. Remember I always said the first bounce is always fake, right? Fake. Second bounce may be a fake, right? So I got in on the second one and, and I started selling 10 cents. If it went up, I was like, oh, fuck, man, it's fine. I still made a little money. I didn't make enough money, but my true spot was four and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be patient. And true enough, it went down to four and it, because at this level, everyone's scared, dude. They're like, fuck, if, four, if it loses four bucks, I'm dead. It's gonna go down to like fucking 340, right? And so everyone, so it, it needs to shake everybody out. And it did, it hit 398. That's why you saw him on Twitter, my, uh, my prince. So 398, I actually was there twice, man. I was there this move and this move. So I kept adding. I was like confident. So my, my, my strategy is like first bounce. So if it doesn't work this time, what's the harm, dude? If it breaks 390, I'm out. I lose 15 cents, I'm fine. You know, I, I'm cool, but but most of the time for me, I see it works. So so I'm actually adding all the way. I keep adding, I keep adding, okay? And then I, I slowly unscale myself out. So the way I scaled in on the down, I scale my way out. So that's how I do it. You, you, you can have just a couple of spots, but for me, I don't really know where the top is, so I, I'm slowly scaling in and scaling out. It could bounce at 402 for all I know. But normally, it's, it's the dollar area. A solid dollar area. And that's where it scares the shit out of people. So the next time, but the problem is, is remember I said, the first bounce is, to me is almost guaranteed. Uh, unless, unless there is some sort of weird filing that has all these people selling. So you have to do your research, dude. And that, and that is actually the, another secret thing, which, which we don't have time to go into right now. Um, but hey, maybe when I start teaching more, I'll, I'll say, but right now the, the first bounce, right? So you, this is all charting, dude. You determine what to bounce. But, but, but I, I call it the first bounce. So, so it, it did it. It fucking went from four bucks all the way up here, dude. It did it. So that's the move that I was looking for. That's it, because notice this. So the line I drew was 440. So that's all I wanted, man. In trading, you don't need much. You just need to get a good size on the first move, predictable move. Everything else, I don't fucking know, okay? So the first move for me, that was my strategy. That, that's been my bread and butter for a long time as well. Um, and that's all I need. And every subsequent bounce, I, I got back in here for a little bit, but I was scared because like, shit man, because I've seen it too many times. The third try, boom, the bottom falls out, okay? And so the only thing I can promise myself is I, I, I nibble, I go smaller, so each subsequent, each subsequent try, I go smaller and smaller, okay? So the first time should be your biggest one because the, you notice how many times you go, oh, fuck this, uh, and you go, I should've done, I should've loaded more the first time. Always the case, right? You never say, oh, shit, I should've loaded the second time. 
Nah, dude, the first time for some reason always works, right? And so that, and so, and the second one's the one you get FOMO and you're like, shit, I should have loaded up and that's when you lose, okay? So that's, that's, so that in a nutshell, guys, is your first bounce, okay? Yeah, VWAP and all that stuff, the first bounce, in my opinion, doesn't really, unless it goes way under. So for me, the chart was still intact. The chart for me was four bucks. If it went under four bucks and could not get past, now it's a short. If this sucker breaks four bucks and cannot go back four bucks, it's a short. But right now it's bouncing off. It's as simple as that. I, I, I don't do anything fucking fancy, man. You know? And so I just, I mean, so this is a very powerful first thing and you, you can start trying it. I mean, as a long. So I want to teach a long because, dude, too many people are doing shorts and they think a shorting is easy, dude. In my opinion, long is actually easier than shorting. Okay, and if you learn how to long a stock, shorting will be much easier because now you can think like a long and how to do a reverse. So let me take a look at what, what the comments are first. Um, yeah, the thing is like, dude, I don't know what the fuck happens after fucking, you guys, you guys are too complicated for these questions. like. To be honest, I don't really know, dude. You think I know the answers? I don't really know. The only thing I know is what is gonna happen with them in the next few minutes. That's all I control. The rest of the day, I don't fucking know, dude. I know that there's gonna be a big bounce because it went up so big, it has to be a big bounce. And if it goes and it holds four bucks, it's going to be a big bounce. And that's all I know. And so I keep it very simple. You guys can add on more later on you want. But for me, dude, I'm done for the day, man. I got my little move I wanted, and it's like the rest of the day now is like gambling. If I, if, if I wanted to, I could wait for four bucks and, and do a little move, but just be aware that 390, if th I gotta stop out at 390, man, okay? If 390 comes, you're fucking, this thing is going to drop down. So, I, so, so that's all I can know. So first, trades usually go larger, then you go smaller and smaller, because you also wanna protect your money at the end of the day. Okay, I work too hard in the morning. And, and once again, it comes on the patience. I mean, I sat around the morning, I made nothing. All I did was like, shit, I missed everything. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for this to go down. So I actually waited, it took like what? Like one hour, dude, from the market open for me to actually implement my strategy and it, it got up. And I, I, I showed you guys the friends. So I actually started scaling higher. So I actually was like 228 or something and I sold 238 two times just to get that feel right here and then and then once it broke I was like okay good dude I want the four bucks because the four bucks once again is gonna scare the shit out of people well this is what remember I, I, I told you to mark down um, on a spreadsheet uh, the oh shit feeling you get like oh I'm so fucking scared it's like if you're long a stock you're like oh my god four bucks I'm so scared it's gonna fucking fall out how many times did it actually fake you out so when you're scared buying at four bucks it's usually the time to buy it's like the Warren Buffett thing, right? Buy, buy when everyone's fearful, right? Uh, but once again, dude, it's all about charting, man. Look, look, look how so so a lot of these so a lot of these I call it. Does the stock conform to the chart? If a stock conforms to the chart, it's fucking awesome. This stock conform exactly to the chart. Look at this, dude. Bounce off four bucks. It topped up at four eighty two times. It conformed to the chart. The next time it broke down four bucks, you're dead. This thing's gonna go down here. Next time it breaks four eighty, boom, the shorts are dead. So now it's, it's being stuck at these two levels. So, so another concept I'll teach you next time is uh, channel. So take a look at the channels. But for now, you, this is what I call the very first, so first bounce, okay? I call it the first dip bounce or whatever the fuck you can call it. All right, guys, you guys have a good day now. And we'll figure out what, uh, what music to play next time. <laughs> have a good one, guys.